so today we will be discussing about one of the most used command in Fortinet to troubleshoot the firewall so you can see on your screen that I have used the command diagnose system session full state which is used by tech engineers to get all the hardware issues or there is any any issue in regards with the DOS or DDoS attacks or there is any issue in regards with your firewall uh, went into hung state regarding hardware or any software issues as well so let's get started so we will be discussing each components I'll be discussing each of the components so that you can get all the detailed information about the working of each component which is shown on your screen so let's get started so here the first thing is the table size so the table size is basically the unit of memory that has been allocated to the session table to store the table details okay so this is the unit of memory that has been allocated by Fortinet and currently I am using the evaluation VM for practice in EVNG so that's why but if you see in your uh, broad environment the memory the table size should obviously be greater than uh, greater than uh, than this okay then max depth max depth detail uh, basically indicates the pattern that has been added in the table so that you can identify what all a tuple or what all columns that are required uh, while gathering the information so here it's maximum as 2 so there are there are only the system has configured the limit depth to 2 only okay because uh, the limit that helps us uh, preventing excessive memory usage especially when large number of session or complex network traffic patterns so here it's 2 now you can see used as 85 used means the current table length which used is 85 so the session table is currently having 85 entries in its session table that's why it's written as 85 session count basically means the count of session that how many sessions are currently in run so it's 43 setup rate setup rate means that how much session has established in per second time so there are two sessions that has been established per second so that's why the rate is given as 2 then that means that expired session so currently there are expired session count as 0 which means that there have been no session that have been expired since the last time the session statistics were checked so currently it's showing 0 that's why it's count as 0 clash clash equal to 0 session clash appears in log when a new session is created okay but a conflicting similar session already so the session that has already been there but a same type of session that has been created again that's where the clash count occurs when session clash happened the old session will be closed and replaced with a new one so the new one will be there the old will be removed it basically happened because of net, net port exhaustion net port exhaustion is basically there is insufficient ports available for translation so currently we are using PAT and if you can able to see for example if you have multiple session and each session is having a different port number so if the port has been exhaust then this may cause a clash where a old session has been removed or a new session has been created which is called clash count memory tension drop memory tension drop basically occurs when a system is running with very low memory so when low memory occur then the number of session will be deleted okay and oldest session will be dropped all the old session will be dropped 
so this is count as memory tension drop ephemeral ephemeral is basically a very important part in terms of uh, the 1480 firewall which checks if there is any DOS or DDoS attack ephemeral is basically used to prevent DOS attacks which is caused by TCP or UDP flooding okay by using TCP handshake as half open I have already discussed this but I'll take this example as this is the attacker who tries to access your web server now what attacker do is that while sending the SYN packet he used to add a dummy IP address which is no more reachable which is completely unavailable so when the server used to send the SYN plus ACK this particular IP address is completely unavailable so because of that the the session as incomplete and they cannot be able to perform the TCP complete handshake as I already discussed over here okay so because of that what ephemeral does is that the ephemeral has certain limit okay once those limit has been reached then the session cannot be there it's completely removed so in order to avoid this type of attack the 14net categorizes a session in the state as ephemeral and set a limit based on the model for how many session can exit at once so that memory is not exhausted so that the firewall cannot be able to waste its memory for the half open connection which is done by the attack so this is a very important part you used to check if your 14net has suffered with any DOS or DDoS attacks next is removable the removable is basically the current session that are in removable state a session in removable state when a total number of session reaches certain limit for example there is a session limit in every 14net firewall if it reaches that then all the next session will be having marked as removed so as removable flag so for example when a system is not able to create a new session the removable session will be deleted first until a new session can be created this is where removable comes into picture extreme low memory extreme low memory is set to 1 when the firewall is experiencing severe memory constraint potentially leading to degraded performance okay so this is where extreme low memory comes into picture when a 14 net has a very low memory issue that it has it has set to one now we will be covering npu session count so you can see that we covered with the extreme low memory now it's npu session count so under npu session count this is basically the number of sessions that has been covered or that has been managed by network processing unit okay so it is not taking or the task that are handled by specialized hardware rather than CPU so they are not using CPU the task go to NPU to handle it now you must be thinking that what are the types of tasks that can be handled by NPU using NPU session count okay so the session such as TCP connections then UDP sessions VPN tunnel sessions these all type of sessions that are handled by NPU rather than it goes to CPU and the most important function is that it is designed to perform network related tasks more efficiently and quickly than the main CPU because it helps load balancing the task as well 
before all the task were goes to cpu and if there is a long pattern or uh, long traffic pattern which takes time with the firewall to process it and that can only handle by cpu but when npu comes then it helps in load balancing so the performance of the firewall will remain adaptive okay the task that are handled by npu is i want to add more which is packet filtering so under packet filtering it does is a uh, deep packet inspection of incoming traffic so the traffic comes in it used to check deep packet inspection and allow the firewall to efficiently block the malicious traffic so if the traffic is malicious then it will block it then vpn tunnels vpn encryption decryption these all comes under vpn tunnels now net net is network address translation so your pri private address from inside translated into the public address using the port numbers correct because we set it as using pat okay so these type of net task are also going to be used by or can be handled by npu then antivirus and anti malware so npu can offload the workload of scanning the traffic for the malicious content and the malware and it also helps in increasing overall performance of the firewall so antivirus anti malware these all types of task is also handled by npu now the next thing is n turbo session count so these all features of n turbo and npu session count these are into the types of firewall models that are there now if you can see on your evaluation vm you cannot able to see those type of n turbo se session count is only for the flow based security profile as we already covered in our previous lecture there are two types of uh, security profile uh, under fortinet firewall one is proxy based and one is flow based so if you are using flow based then only the n turbo comes into picture so what it does is that it offloads the firewall and net sessions from the firewall cpu to network processor so those type of net task network address translation task that are handled by cpu will be handled by the network processor so there are processors in the firewall might be yours is np6 or np7 these are the types of processors that comes under n, n turbo okay now we will be discussing that there are cases when n turbo sessions are not offloaded offloaded means that cannot be taken by the n turbo or the network processor as we already discussed okay because uh, you know as we already discussed there are cpu handle task if there is no n turbo function or network processor if there then np type np6 np7 np8 these type of processor used to handle it right now there are cases when n turbo sessions are not offloaded the first one is np acceleration is disabled so there are features that you have manually disabled it so if you disabled it np acceleration which can be uh, you know uh, which is uh, so there is a policy under that so using cmd uh, in your uh, fortinet firewall you used to enable that as well or second one is as we discussed that if you are using proxy based security profile then also your enter position cannot be offloaded right then when tunneling so if you are having a tunnel or if you are performing any type of ipsec vpn tunnel or any type of ssl vpn that cannot be offloaded okay that also cannot be offloaded and the proxy that also cannot be uh, offloaded the disable of np acceleration is also offloaded cannot be offloaded okay 
only in terms of IPsec VPN tunnel the session can be offloaded if a security association can be offloaded okay so only in terms of security association that used to allow it in that case only the session can be offloaded so these all are the types where uh, your session cannot be offloaded okay delete delete is basically that counts the number of firewall session that were deleted either by the user action so if the admin can directly delete those session or else there are some specific requirements due to anomaly occurring anomaly occurring is basically your dos attack so there are a number of packets so in that case the delete function comes into picture so we are going to take each of the scenario so the first scenario is if as i said the admin used to delete it manually okay because of specific by selecting specific session second is the ips match rule so if there is any match rule under ips session that can also be related that if there was a session that set the action to reset so in terms of that the session needs to be reset and in that case the session is deleted now the third thing is SIPALG so this is very important topic I think nobody has covered it before SIP is session initiation protocol application layer gateway this is basically a feature that is used in voice call in video conferencing okay so and media sharing media sharing now basically there was a issue with SIP L, uh, ALG so now we are discussing SIP ALG SIP ALG the session is deleted because when a voice call or video conferencing is there they used to delete the corresponding session to prevent reuse free use the resources enhance security and complying with the network protocol 